Um, this morning we have volunteers. We're at the Solidarity Center and we're raising aid for um, the victim of Hurricane okay, Sandy so, so, okay. and the victim well, of um, at, so people I'll, I'll like Como well, we and Bloomberg who've been left stranded back. because so we'll of the you, hurricane. We'll so and um, Teresa, who's one of the coordinators okay. who works with uh, People Power Assembly, um, is going taking crews out now. Uh, we will be doing okay. other work in right, Far Rockaway. Right. So uh, we will be doing work address. in New Jersey. Yeah. Larry Hales is coordinating. Imani is coordinating the, uh, teams in Chinatown and Lower Manhattan, mm -hmm. and um, also in Staten Island, uh, because these are all the places that people um, had lack of health, and they're still like without heat and locked in. Uh, they're still finding bodies, mm -hmm. and so this is an ongoing campaign that we have to carry Avenue, out by the IAC, Wolves War Party, Apple. and um, People Power. So. Yeah, Water, flashlights, batteries, food supplies, diapers, baby stuff, that's so all. We have lots of diapers. Round of stuff, and that's what we'll emphasize for yeah. the second round. Yeah, emphasize here. I'll give you this list. Oh, Ig good. Ignore the bottom part, but these top five are always, always needed. Yeah, we, uh, we bought a lot of diapers. Okay. Yeah. That stuff we get out like in like like none other. It's just coming through and going out. People really need it. So okay, great. It's cool. All right. And if y'all have cars, we need cars with gas to be able to ship people out. The volunteers that we train to go campusing out to the sites. Yeah. So that's like our number one need here is cars with gas. People who can drive for the day go out and volunteer. This is part of a process of building people's power, of empowering people to defend one another's interests, but also to show the, the fact that the system is fundamentally uh, ineffectual. It can't provide for people's needs. It's not set up that way to provide for people's needs. It's set up to maintain the status quo, which is built off of the exploitation of people for to procure profit. Because it's one thing to connect with different groups who are already politicized, but we actually have to go in and connect with the community, especially the oppressed community. Yeah government itself, as well as Red Cross and the other, you know, NGOs that are set up to provide for this, you know, org organizations that only spend a third of the money they actually get to provide for people's needs. Most of it is on overhead. And Occupy Sandy spends every, all the resources they have to provide for people's needs. And they're the primary organization that has been helping to provide aid for the people who suffer through this hurricane and continue to suffer the lingering effects of a crumbling infrastructure. Just as common ground in the Common Ground Collective in New Orleans provided for people's medical needs in the wake of the hurricane, it's important not to leave the political, uh, not to ignore the political ramifications of this. Culturally, we are still affected by the superstructure of society, but also because we've seen in history, you look at the Black Panther Party, the state moved in and crushed it. So we have to begin to raise people's political iron and political consciousness, and that's also part of the process of this. Um, and I think that we have to communicate that to people and start building those relationships and communicating what we mean by assemblies. Mm -hmm. You know, they be the highest, body, you know, the, the most uh, democratic body, the highest functioning body of people's mass movement. We need volunteers against capitalism, against racism, poverty, oppression. We need volunteers to join the political movement. So I went out to Flocka, that's my hometown, so I wanted to go out there right away. So as soon as, because um, I was stuck in Jersey City the first like four or five days, with, like no power and trying to do stuff around there. But um, but finally got into the city and I just went straight to Fawakaway to help with the relief there. And I, I went along with, they set up like two or three sites when I was there. So that was like, that was amazing to see that, you know, how you know the community was really like, it's devastated out there. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, when I, we went out there, we drove from like 116th all the way to like Mott Avenue, which is almost like, 150 blocks and you can literally it's almost like every three or four blocks every other block there was a line for food and a line for blankets you know and for me that was like you know what happened that kind of like a story where people have been talking about that all the resources all the supermarkets are closed all the they closed the hospital recently which was the fight that we lost you know so like so people were just pretty much abandoned out there literally abandoned you know and luckily occupied came in and, and, and got the resources in. There's already people in the community, you know, that lead that leading and I know what's going on. So it's just about getting them the resources and then pointing towards like different facilities and hubs that we can use to distribute it, you know. So that's what happened. And to also talking directly to the National Guard, you know. We had like, you know, better relations with the National Guard than we do with the police and do with the with the, with the government. I mean, but you can see that in extreme cases like in Egypt and stuff, but you know. 
So we were able to, the National Guard, like, you know, loves what we're doing, you know, you know, filling the gaps, you know. But, you know, it's, but it's Well, just, that's the thing, isn't yeah. it, that the government, our government, with all of its tax dollars and all of its power, mm -hmm. did not organize for the people. No, they organized for the New York City Marathon, and they organized, you know, for... Oh to get oh. the Goldman Sachs building oh. lit up. So oh. that's, that's the images that's going to be burnt in people's heads after this. And Wall you know. Street uh, was up two days later, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is a New Yorker. This is, I think it's one of the most iconic photos ever, like the New Yorker cover with like, it shows just the gold financial center lit and the rest of like lower Manhattan yeah. is dark. You know, this yeah, shows yeah. you was like no man yeah. should have this much power.